My name is Kashana Evans. I am a shamanic healer uh, with a background in Reiki. Be with us in this energy space, this medicine space. Oh. A shamanic healer deals in energy medicine, very different from a medical doctor who deals with the physical body. In the nose and out of the mouth. This is of the soul, this is of emotions. It really unfolds step by step, so each time someone does this for the first time, anything going on is actually perfect. There's a big blockage in my creativity right now. I don't have a validation of some sort from the outside world which I know it is a thought process and it's incorrect, but somehow that carries a deeper block. After I left school, mm -hmm. I just felt trapped. Like I was like, now I really don't know what's going on. Okay. Like I felt like my mind just was like, now what? Negative energy, maybe negative family members you have to be around or people in the workplace you have to be around or just your own issues and patterns trauma sometimes we carry heavy heaviness from um, when we were younger or from different chapters in our lives i don't even know where to start <laughs> like i'm already like having a hard time breathing what will happen if you don't know everything what is that feeling i guess i just don't want to accept that right i'm fighting that mm -hmm. I don't want to accept that um, um, I, d I don't have it right. Peace is psychosomatic health versus psychosomatic disease. My family has always been extremely intelligent, extremely gifted, but really lacking in the emotional gene and the ability to express love to one another. Peace is something that uh, we all inherited and that we all deserve. Uh, sometimes it takes work to understand it, to understand the benefits. And the reason it's important for me to do this work is so that I remove debris or any stigma or any hindrance. Because if I'm the doubter, or if, if I'm stifled or incomplete or insecure, then that energy does not move in a harmonious way, doesn't move in a whole, perfect, balanced way. Take some risks and find out about it. Follow your instincts and your heart and use your discernment and uh, get guidance and explore. <laughs>